post-2015 development agenda has everything to do with sustainable development. And sustainable development, if nothing else, is made up of three pillars, the, so the social, economic, and environmental pillars. So it's quite obvious that for there to be a post-2015 development agenda, we need to include the ecological foundation of social and economic goals into this agenda. Well, food security is normally spoken about in terms of uh, social and economic goals, and that, that makes a lot of sense. But it turns out that food security is underpinned by an ecological foundation. If you don't have fisheries that are sustainable, if you don't have an agriculture that is not being undermined by soil degradation, by competitive land uses, etc., you need a strong agriculture. You need a strong ecological foundation. The way to shore that up, I think, is to scale up the many different ideas about sustainable agriculture, as well as scaling up ideas about sustainable fisheries, reducing the amount of subsidies that are leading to overfishing, providing more marine protected areas for fish to spawn in, et cetera, et cetera. There's good ideas out there, but now we need to scale them up. If we're going to accomplish sustainable development, real sustainable development, one of the key tasks we have is to break down this silo approach taken by government and institutions and looking at solving problems and promoting development in terms of either the social aspect or the economic aspect or the environmental aspect. Of course, it makes sense because that's the way governments are organized according to their specialties and the education of the people that work there. But for sustainable development to work, we need to encourage a breakdown of this silo approach, a more integrated approach. We need to do that, first of all, by starting in our schools and universities to teach, to teach students that an integrated approach is needed. Governments can encourage it by agreeing to sustainable development goals, for example, that have all of the dimensions of sustainable development blended together. When it then will come to governments to implement these goals, well, that will certainly encourage cooperation between different government departments and, we hope, lead to a breakdown in this silo approach to development.